Welcome back to our Sunday Fun Day School. So glad you could join us. Guess what? I have a couple announcements. You might already know this, but maybe not. We have started back up with our Wednesday Connection programming, but for now, we'll just be online. So, each Wednesday night at 6 p.m., we will post a video on YouTube and Facebook with a short devotional and fun origami activity that you can follow along with. If you haven't had a chance to watch them, go now. No, wait, don't go now. Watch this video first and then go get caught up on our paper folding magic. We've made rocking ducks, some cool fish, also a cute little elephant. Our second announcement is if you wait around until the end of our time together, I will give you a QR code and a password that will unlock a family devotional that will help you continue this conversation with your loved ones. Oh, I just had a really fun idea. Maybe you could be the Sunday school teacher and teach your mom and dad or brothers and sisters today's lesson. That would be a lot of fun. I tell you what, let's get started. Today we'll hear the story of the time Jesus chose his 12 ordinary disciples to help him do extraordinary things. But first, it's time for our memory verse challenge. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to learn some scripture. It is so important for us to learn these verses. Why, you might ask? Well, for one, they help strengthen our faith foundation. And for two, we can pull from these scriptures to help people out when they are having a hard time and needing advice and comfort. So let's get started with today's memory verse. Matthew 419 says, and he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Who's ready to use some hand motions to help us learn this verse? Okay, he said to them, we will use the American Sign Language for said, which is touching your chin with your pointer finger while you say the word said, like this. And he said to them, follow me. For follow, we put one finger out and make the other one follow it. Follow me and I will make you fishers. Fishers, you're gonna flick your wrist real fast and then Put your hands like this, like you've caught a fish. Okay, let's try it. I will make you fishers of men. The American Sign Language sign for men is touching your forehead with your thumb and moving it down to your chest. Let's try it from the very beginning. And he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Awesome job! We'll be back at the end of our program to see if you remember these signs. But now, let's jump right into our wiggle break and worship song. Today, I thought it would be fun to play a game of follow the leader. So I've recruited some help and after the game, we will go straight into our worship song that is literally our Bible memory verse made into a song. So it should really help us have that verse stick into our brain. Let's go. Hi, I'm Amy. I'm Izzy, and today we'll be playing Follow the Leader. Izzy will go first. <laughs> now, my move is this. Bye! Bye! As Jesus was walking beside the sea, the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were cast in a net into the lake for the day were. They were fishermen. And I will make you fishers of men. Come, follow me, Jesus said. And I will make you fishers of men. Yeah. 
As Jesus was walking beside the sea The Sea of Galilee He saw two brothers Simon called Peter And his brother Andrew They were casting a net Into the lake their nets and followed him yeah they followed him come follow me Jesus said and I will make you fishers of men come follow me Jesus said and I will make you fishers of men yeah come And I will make you fishers of men. Come, follow me. Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. Come, follow me. Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. Come, follow me. Jesus said, I will make you fishers of men. I will make you fishers of me. Come follow me. And I will make you fishers of me. Come follow me. now for my very favorite part of Sunday School. Let's watch together. Jesus lived in a town on the shores of a big lake called the Sea of Galilee. It was a fishing village. One day, as Jesus was walking down the shore of the lake, he saw two men in a boat. Like many of the village, these were fishermen. They were tossing their nets into the water for a catch of fish. Their names were Simon and Andrew. Come, follow me, Jesus called out to the men. I will make you fishers of men. Would they come? Would they really leave their nets, their boat, and maybe the fish they just caught? Didn't they have jobs, goals, dreams? But without even hesitating, Simon and Andrew got up, left their nets and jobs behind, and followed Jesus. Then Jesus, Andrew, and Simon, also called Peter, continued walking along the shoreline. There in the distance, they saw three men in a boat, fixing their fishing nets. These men were James, his brother John, and their father Zebedee. When Jesus called them, they responded. Immediately, John and James dropped their fishing nets, jumped out of the boat, and left their father Zebedee. Jesus' call was profound, and though they had never met him, God's power enabled them to respond to his call. These ordinary fishermen were embarking on a journey that would change their lives forever. Jesus could have called any person of stature or leadership, but instead he called lowly fishermen. He knew that God's power would be greatly displayed in these ordinary men. In a few years, they would become the messengers to spread the gospel to all the nations of the world. A great task indeed. In the end, Jesus chose 12 disciples. 
These men would be scholars, learning from Jesus for the next three years. He would teach them about God, obedience, and love. He would explain to them why his coming was so important. Their sole aim would be to proclaim Jesus as the Messiah, him crucified and resurrected. The names of the twelve disciples were Peter, Andrew, James, John, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Matthew, James, Thaddeus, Simon, and Judas. The disciples saw how Jesus cared for people. They saw how he loved people and God. They saw how he responded to people who loved him and those who even hated him. While we may not be able to heal someone just by thinking about it like Jesus could, we can pray that ill and injured people experience healing. We can care for the sick and needy. Another way we can act like Jesus is to love everyone, no matter whether they like us or we like them. Jesus taught the disciples about scripture, how to pray, how to have a relationship with God, and the importance of having a steadfast faith. By reading and studying scripture, we can learn about the wisdom Jesus imparted on his disciples. You know, the disciples recorded this information in the Bible, not for their own benefit, but for future readers like us. Everything Jesus taught to the disciples is important for us to understand and apply in our own lives. On multiple occasions, Jesus told his disciples that he was the Son of God. That magnitude of the revelation didn't sink in right away. Rather, they had to see him perform miracles and signs in order for them to understand the power that their friend and teacher possessed. Recognizing who Jesus is and how his sacrifice changed the lives of every person is an exciting bit of information that we should want to share with everyone. In doing this, we help people choose Christ. Telling others about Jesus and helping fellow Christians to maintain their walk with Jesus helps to encourage others to be disciples. And that brings us to our big idea of the day. With Jesus, the ordinary can be made extraordinary. All of these things that the disciples observed and learned during their time with Jesus help them to spread the gospel. We too are called to follow Jesus and spread the gospel. So it's important that we too spend time with Jesus. We do that through prayer and Sunday school and church and learning scripture. Speaking of learning scripture, let's go back and see if you remember our verse. And he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Matthew 4, 19. Awesome job. Would you please bow your heads? Jesus, thank you for calling the disciples to you. Thank you for calling us to be disciples too. Help us to learn and do what you say. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. That's all for today, folks. Be sure to come back next week and hear all about the pool of Bethesda. 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 You get the point. Until next week, go out and follow Jesus. We'll see you then.